building a gaming PC? The GPU is the core of your gaming experience. This year, the competition for the best budget graphics card has expanded beyond the usual AMD versus NVIDIA rivalry. Intel Arc is now part of the mix. While benchmarks are important when purchasing a GPU, there are some additional form factors to keep in mind. Unfortunately, many users find it hard to understand the detailed GPU analyses, and even if they manage to do so, choosing the right brand can still be confusing. So we've come up with an overview on how to buy a GPU and which brand you should go for. Well, if you don't know about rasterization, it's a process in computer graphics that is used to convert 3D objects into 2D images that can be displayed on a screen. It is very useful for real-time applications like video games, where the images need to be updated rapidly as you play. Rasterization is the bread and butter of gaming graphics, and it's where AMD shines. Their graphics cards generally offer better rasterized performance for the money compared to NVIDIA. For example, the AMD Radeon RX 7800 XT often outperforms the similarly priced NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 in traditional rasterized games. Intel's Arc GPUs, while improving, still lag behind in rasterization performance. They're competitive at lower price points, but due to their inconsistent driver support, the performance can vary wildly between games. Let's talk about another key aspect of a GPU, the ray tracing. It's a technique used in computer graphics to create more realistic lighting, shadows, and reflections in scenes. In a game with ray tracing, when your character moves near a shiny surface like a puddle, you might see a perfect reflection of the sky and surroundings in the water. Without ray tracing, this reflection would be much simpler and less accurate. NVIDIA traditionally held the crown when we talk about ray tracing, and in this time period, they still maintain an edge. The RTX 4000 series, particularly the high-end models like the RTX 4080 and 4090, offer top-tier ray tracing performance. AMD has made significant strides with their RDNA 3 architecture, and they narrowed down the gap considerably. The Radeon RX 7900 XTX, for instance, offers competitive ray tracing performance in many titles, though it still falls short of NVIDIA's best. Intel's Arc GPUs surprisingly offer decent ray tracing capabilities for their price point, sometimes matching or exceeding AMD's offerings. We can hope that they will be consistent in updating their features in the upcoming years. Imagine you have a small picture on your computer and you want to make it bigger without it looking blurry or pixelated. That's what Upscale usually does. They use smart algorithms to add extra pixels and make the image clearer as it gets larger. Upscaling technologies have become crucial for improving performance at higher resolutions. NVIDIA's deep learning super sampling remains the gold standard for now. It offers quite the best balance of image quality and performance uplift, especially with the latest DLSS 3.5 version. AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution has seen significant improvements with FSR3 and narrowed the gap with DLSS. It works across a wider range of GPUs, including NVIDIA and Intel cards, which is a plus. Intel's XS upscaling technology has matured since its introduction, but still trails behind NVIDIA and AMD's offerings in terms of widespread adoption and overall quality. In terms of raw performance, NVIDIA's RTX 4090 remains the top at the ultra-high end by offering about 25% better performance than AMD's top offering, the RX 7900 XTX. However, this comes at a steep price premium. In the mid-range and budget segments, AMD often offers better value. GPUs like the RX 7600 and RX 7700 XT provide great performance for their price points. NVIDIA generally has an edge in power efficiency. Their cards tend to use less power for similar performance levels compared to AMD counterparts. Reliability is where things get interesting. AMD has made significant strides in driver stability, largely addressing their historical issues. Their drivers are now generally on par with NVIDIA's in terms of reliability. NVIDIA's drivers are typically stable and feature-rich. Some users report problems with certain driver versions, though these are usually resolved quickly. Intel's Arc GPUs continue to struggle with driver reliability till date. While improvements have been made, users still report frequent issues with game compatibility and stability. It's a work in progress, and potential buyers should be aware of these ongoing challenges.
The pricing landscape for GPUs continues to be highly competitive, with AMD consistently delivering better value in the mid-range and budget categories. For instance, in the budget sector, the AMD RX 7600 is a good one that offers impressive 1080p performance at approximately $250. The AMD RX 7700 XT shines by delivering 1440p gaming capabilities for around $400. On the higher end of the spectrum, NVIDIA takes the lead, particularly with the RTX 4080, which is a perfect fit for 4K gaming, albeit at a steep price of about $1,000. At the ultra-high end, the NVIDIA RTX 4090 reigns supreme because of its top-notch performance but it comes with a hefty price tag of over $1,500. Meanwhile, Intel's ARC GPUs are positioned with aggressive pricing to challenge both AMD and NVIDIA. However, despite their attractive price points, the value of Intel's offerings is somewhat diminished due to persistent driver-related issues, which continue to affect their overall appeal. So it's finally time to make a decision. Don't worry, we will keep things clear for you. For budget-conscious gamers aiming for great 1080p performance, the AMD offers a good match between affordability and power. Those interested in mid-range 1440p gaming will find the AMD RX 7700 XT or NVIDIA RTX 4070 to be ideal, as these GPUs provide smooth gameplay and enhanced visuals within a good budget. When it comes to high-end 4K gaming, both NVIDIA and AMD stand tall by delivering high-level performance for those who seek detailed, immersive experiences at higher resolutions. However, for gamers who refuse to compromise on performance and are willing to invest significantly, the NVIDIA RTX 4090 is the ultimate choice, which ensures flawless 4K gaming with all settings maxed out. While Intel's GPUs have potential, they are difficult to recommend across the board due to persistent driver issues. However, for budget-conscious gamers looking for decent performance at a lower price point, the Intel Arc A750 could be a viable option. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching our video. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.